glad you joined us. I am Mary Sloan, but this and is I'm not, not Tony. <laughs> Say that again. You're not Tony. <laughs> no. My but daughter I'm nervous. usually sits in that seat, but she couldn't yeah. be here tonight, so Narvis agreed, my sister, to come over and help me out tonight. So thank you so much, Narvis. Oh yes. And we just welcome you here tonight. And I can we say this every week. We got a great program, and we do. We've got uh, with us Jonathan Bond, and uh, been wanting to have him for a while. Not only is he great with ministry and. Uh, he's just unreal about his sing. I just love his tone of singing, and he's going to be singing some great songs here mm -hmm. tonight. So don't go anywhere, and uh, if you need prayer tonight, just remember we've got prayer partners that want to partner with you tonight. They want to know what you're going through, so just get on the phone and let us know. And we also have Facebook uh, that we want you to follow us on. Mm -hmm. If you don't get it anywhere else, you all can always back up with Facebook. And uh, as Tony would say, Narvis, don't, Don't stare, stare, but share. share. Love you, Tony. <laughs> Y'all love Tony. Let us know yes. how much you miss Tony. Yeah, at the end of this program, you may say, where is Tony? She need to be here. Anyway, um, Narvis, I want you to share the scripture with us tonight. Yeah. And um, I actually tell you, before you go further, I had another scripture for tonight. And mm -hmm. I was talking to Jonathan yesterday via text. And I had written down this scripture for some reason on my notes. Uh, and I just, you know... But we weren't going to use that scripture for our scripture. And Jonathan sent me back a text, and it was the same thing. And I said, we got to use that. That's what I feel like the Lord would have us use tonight. Yes. And so the scripture is found in uh, Psalms 34. And I just lost <laughs> Psalms 37. <laughs> Sorry. It just, you know, you're using, you're not using the Bible. You're using <laughs> the phone. But Psalms 37 23 and 24 says the steps of a good man mm -hmm. are ordered by the Lord mm -hmm. and he delights in his way. Amen. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord upholds him mm -hmm. with his hand. Amen. You know, we don't have to, we, we got to know that our steps are ordered by the Lord, Mary. That's right. And that sometimes we detour mm -hmm. and we go our own way right. but he's got the right steps that he wants us to take and I know tonight there's many people that maybe have strayed away or whatever but he's got a plan for you mm -hmm. he's got the steps that are ordered for you and so you just get with him and work out and Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, like Mary. we talked about earlier, it, he says, I, I have ordered your steps. So yes. Why even go there? We know that's what he's done. So if we get off, off, off right. of our uh, way of going to the right direction, then sure, you know, we've ordered our own steps then. So we that's have to right. follow in what he has. Jonathan's yes. going to add yes. to that a little bit later probably. <laughs> yes. But amen. we have a song by Jonathan right now, and uh, it's, it's Don't Hide Your Scars. Is there anybody here Who will raise your hand and say I was lost But now I am found Does anybody know What it's like to be set free From the chains That once had you bound can you tell me what the Lord has done for you? People need to hear the story of God's grace, the healing that flows from His hand. People need to know how God can take their hurt and use it as part of his great plan. From the ashes he made such a beautiful display. So don't hide your scars. They're part of who you are. i 
some have felt the pain of addiction and shame maybe feeling less than enough while others fighting battles of sickness and disease reaching for the strength to overcome would you tell them what the lord has done a beautiful display so don't hide your scars they're part of who So don't hide your scars They're part of who And that's yes. part of who we are. are yes, those testimonies? That's, yes, he's so anointed. Yes, singing. he is. Yes. I love him. I'm Amen. glad we finally got him here in the area. And we're going to be telling you, well, I actually might as well go ahead and tell you now. We'll tell you again probably toward the end, but he's going to be in Iva, South Carolina at the Church of God Sunday morning. So if you live in the area and don't have a home church, mm -hmm. you may want to go and hear him minister and uh, right. sing some of his songs. But he's coming over here to be with us. But... Um, I just wanted to read a little bio on it, and uh, let's, let's welcome Jonathan here before we do this. Thank yeah. you, Jonathan Thank and Vaughn, for, for being for here. Me. Oh, I would look forward to this for so long. Anyhow, I'm going to read a little bio on you, and I tell people everybody doesn't know you, you know. <laughs> we don't like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jonathan Vaughn with Young Harmony is based out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Jonathan is a songwriter and has recorded a total of 25 music projects. Mm. His latest being Family and Friends. He's been nominated for the Most Honored Dove Award for uh, the Most Honored Dove Award for 2005, 2006, 2007. His song God Still God was nominated as Southern Gospel Song of the Year. Uh, many recognize Jonathan's number one chart and song is I Need Your Grace. What if he didn't? God Still God. Good morning, Lord. God has not Lord. forgotten you. Can the world see Jesus in you and all he's done in me? Wow. Jonathan travels and ministers everywhere from revivals to concerts. He wants everyone to know that he does love the Lord and he has chosen to go out into the world and reach people through his singing ministry. He will, be, he will minister anywhere he is invited with no financial obligation. So, hey. You have no reason not to have Jonathan at your church. I was just looking mm -hmm. at his schedule, and even in times now when there's not a lot of booking going on, he has actually stayed very booked. So welcome again, Jonathan. Thank you. Now, um, you've accomplished so much in your lifetime uh, with 25 music projects and Dove Awards and Song of the Year. How does it make you feel knowing God uh, has given you so many venues to be a part of and share the love of Jesus with them? Well, uh, amazing. <laughs> to, to me, I love that uh, God will use absolutely anybody that is willing. And, uh, right. and, and he, he chose me for this journey. Yes. And one of the things I love the most is that of all the bazillion people in the world, there's not one other Jonathan Bond. Uh -huh. 
I'm his oh. only one. He created me for this journey, <laughs> yes. and nobody can do what he's called me to do. <laughs> oh, I love right. that. Wow. And that's the way for every one of that's us. That's right. Yes. Well, now you have a personal testimony about shoes. Now we're going to let him give a lot of personal testimonies tonight because right. I, when I found out all he had, I said he's got to share them. So. And he's got books with all kind of stories in it. And yeah. He's going to share a few of those stories Yeah, they're tonight, laying here right now. And as you share, maybe you can pick up a book and say it's, it's in this book or whatever. That would be fine. Okay. Uh, but uh, you have a testimony about shoes, don't you? I do. Uh, <laughs> I, I love shoes. I have more shoes than my mother has. My friends all make fun of me, and I don't care. I still love them and my shoes. But uh, I was driving to Atlanta to do some grief counseling at Emory Hospital. And uh, it was about 7 p.m. that night. And as I was driving, I noticed a bright neon flashing sign, designer shoes 50% off. I didn't have much time, but I had time for that. <laughs> uh, so I got off the exit. I'd been to this store before. It's a big box store. And I wear a size 13, so I knew to go in, go all the way to the back and over to the left. There's the men's 13s. I was in that store and out of that store in five minutes with two pair of shoes, and they were good. <laughs> um, as I was getting ready to leave that parking lot, there was a young boy, looked to be about 23 years old, and he's holding a sign that said, Hungry, uh, Anything Helps. I don't give cash to those guys because I don't want to fuel a problem they're already struggling right. with. But I also believe that we as Christians should never pass by somebody that says they're hurting and need help, that we don't stop and offer some form of Jesus. So what, sure. what I do is I keep $5 McDonald gift cards in my mm -hmm. car. So I pulled over and I got two of the gift cards out and I said, hey, there's $5 on each one and there's a McDonald's. And he said, thank you. You could tell he was hungry. It was mm -hmm. legit. I went to roll my window up and I looked down, he didn't have any shoes on. I said, where are your shoes? He said, I've been out here for a while. He said, yesterday they fell apart and I had to throw them away. I said, what size do you wear? And he said, I wear a size 10. And I almost shouted because I didn't want to lose my new ones, you know, <laughs> uh, but that's wrong. And I told him, I said, I said, I just bought two pair of shoes. I'll give you a pair, they're, they're size 13. I'll give you a pair. They'll be too big, but maybe better than none at all. He said, sir, I would really appreciate that. And I reached in the back seat and pulled that bag up to the front. And I opened that bag. There were two pair of shoes. One was a size 13 and one was a size 10. And uh, wow. I sat there. I, I'm never speechless, huh. but that overwhelmed me so much. You don't know this, but I know I didn't go where the 10s were. And uh, like that just overwhelmed me. And I, I pulled that size 10 out and I said, you're not going to believe this. And I told him the story and he said, wow, thank you. Mm -hmm. To him, that just meant a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. I said, can I tell you something this reminded me? I said, this reminded me that God knew exactly where you were standing. Mm -hmm. He knew exactly yeah, your need. He right, even right. knew what size shoe you wore. Right. I said, don't let where you are hold you here. God has plans for you. Uh, you and know, he reached in and he just hugged me. He just ordered your steps. He did. Into that shoe store, <laughs> Absolutely. didn't he? Absolutely. Uh, and got just the right size for and, him. Yes. And uh, amazing. And, and you know, uh, there's stories all through the Bible about the miraculous doings of God. Mm -hmm. He hasn't stopped just because King James stopped riding. Right. You know, yeah. he, God is still doing miracles. We, oh, yeah. we just have to be a little bit more alert. That's right. And I yeah. said, God, I want you to open my eyes wider. Yeah. I want to see more of you, and I want you to use yeah. me. Uh, you know, and he, he's amazing. Amen. Amazing. <laughs> Amen. You have a story of, of a wreck, a car wreck. Mm -hmm. Yes, And I know you're going to tell us lots of good stories tonight. And um, mm -hmm. so share with us about that. Well, September the 24th of 91, I was on my way to work. It was raining really hard, an 18-wheeler pulled over in my lane, and he hit my car. When he hit me, knocked me across the median into oncoming traffic. Two other cars hit me, and long story short, at 1.45 in the afternoon, they pronounced me dead at the scene. I had a brain mm -hmm. aneurysm. My skull was cracked. My head was swollen. This eye had loosened from the socket. The bone in my face was broken. My face had been cut. I had two ribs broken. My arm, my shoulder, my back was broken in nine places. And I was wow. paralyzed just above my waist down. T11 and T12 in that area. I was paralyzed from there down and uh, lost all of my blood except for a half a pint. And the most critical part, the doctor said 18 mm -hmm. and a half minutes that they could not account for oxygen. Mm -hmm. He said to my mother, he said, Miss Bond, there's no way. 
He oh said, Miss Bond, I'm still the way. And uh, right. I'll tell you this, I left the hospital four days after my wreck, completely healed all the way through. No way was possible. He still made a way for me. I didn't yes. have anything to give him and he still loved me. Wow. And uh, you know, I'm so thankful that he pulled me through when, when all hope was gone. Wow. He still yeah. came through for Amen. me. Amen. You're a miracle man. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You know, I feel like my, my calling is to reach out to people that who have lost hope yeah. and to be able to say there is hope no matter how far down the road you feel like you are there is hope god is still able yes. to pull you through now i wrote a yeah. song called there at hope so don't you be right so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i might have to hear that one now <laughs> it was a great song uh, even if i did write it huh we, uh, it's we beautiful. sang it in a lot of different places but you also won a lifetime achievement award that was special to you tell us about that well i uh, appreciate that uh, I work with a nonprofit organization where we help feed, clothe, and house the homeless and underprivileged in seven states. Uh, and uh, hmm. in, in 2020, uh, I got a phone call and had uh, gotten the Lifetime Achievement Award from President Donald Trump. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'm so so thankful for that. Uh, but but it wasn't. I, I was the one that got the award. But it wasn't just me who did all the work. Have mm -hmm. such a team of people. Mm -hmm. uh, but in in 2020, we were able to help feed a little over 54,000 people. Wow. Um, and uh, this this year, we're on par to feed a little over 60,000. And uh, you know, it's just been so amazing how God will open yeah. doors. All we have to do is just trust him and walk. Mm -hmm. It's not always easy. It's not, you know, but I promise you it is always fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, uh, that's great. Tell us a little bit about the, this project and this CD because, hey, we're going to be doing a giveaway in just a few minutes to the first caller. Don't call right now, but he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Well, the the song that I just sang, "Don't Hide Your Scars," is on on this album here. It's it's got uh, well the song songs I've written. I love all of them, uh, and my mother and dad love them all, and hopefully you will as well. Uh, but, but that's all on here, and uh, this this book right here is filled with testimonies. The the story of the shoes, the guy from Atlanta, that's in this book right here, and uh, my. Uh, I, before, when I was writing the book, I sent it out to uh, Marie Osmond, and uh, she <laughs> she responded with uh, just a little forward for my book, and she Aww. said it's it's so easy to see that God, uh, it's so easy to see that this is where God has placed you on and on earth. You are blessed, uh, Marie Osmond. And then one of my good friends, and he just passed away. Um, he he had some health issues, but he just passed away. Is Meatloaf. And uh, uh -huh. we've been friends for about 20 years. And when he read the book, he said, several years ago, you made a difference in my life. Wow. God has given you a talent to encourage others and direct them to him. Mm. Uh, love meatloaf. And, you know, wow. Uh, wow. so it's been, it's been so neat to see how God does what mm -hmm. he does. How'd you get yeah. Marie Osmond to put, give you an endorsement? Well, the funniest thing, <laughs> uh, if you remember the song, Good Morning, Lord, Good Morning, Lord. It was a song radio played all over the world as their starting song. Now, do you write uh, that? No, ma'am. It was actually <laughs> sent to me, and uh -huh. we, we changed it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so that song was one that radio stations opened with. Okay. And in my marketing mm -hmm. mind, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we had a song that they could close with? Mm -hmm. So you got the opening and the closing. And uh, mm -hmm. we did an old song that Donnie and Marie uh, did on their show. May tomorrow be a perfect day. May you find love and laughter along the way. You and, don't even uh, need any music. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we did that song and sent it out to radio and radio did exactly that. It was their closing song on the wow. stations. It was wonderful. And then Marie's wow. uncle who wrote the song, uh, he, he had heard the song and called me and said, hey, would you be interested in and so we were invited to Las Vegas to sing that song with Donnie and Marie. Wow, and that's, that's how we great. became friends. You've got some stories, don't you? Uh, okay. I, I did play a joke on Mary one time about Marie Osmond. Oh, and I, I don't have time to go into all of it, but it was about that song, There Is Hope, wasn't it? 
<laughs> no, it was about dreams. Oh, dreams. That's right. That's Which right. Your story yeah. straight yeah. now, not. Yeah. That's right. Well, you should well, I wasn't yeah, hearing about that later. Oh, it was yeah, that's a okay, long we're going to have a song in just a couple of minutes, but tell us about another book and a CD. Uh, how the book is about the CD too. Well, uh, I've got I've got four. This is my first book, and and in it is strictly testimonies, uh, stories from the road, and things we've seen God do. It's beautiful, and then also uh, some of my friends as I've traveled would share their testimony from cancer and from drugs and and just different things, and they shared their testimony in this book here. Mm -hmm. um, this this book here. Th this one is one of my favorites. Uh, just just because of the messages in it, and uh, I, I would love to, to share it with you guys, but this one was endorsed by Beverly D'Angelo from Christmas Vacation, okay. <laughs> which I love her. <laughs> and then uh, uh, President Jimmy Carter gave me an endorsement. I, I sang at his church a couple of times, but I met him uh, at a time when it was a really rough time with this, he was having some health issues mm -hmm. and God orchestrated that mm -hmm. step and it's pretty awesome. Well, where, well, well. where could people get your books? You can go to Amazon.com or JonathanBond.com, uh, Walmart.com, anywhere that sells mm -hmm. Christian books. Okay, okay. good, All good. Right, right. All right, people, what we're gonna do now is do a giveaway on these two. Then Jonathan's gonna be singing for us. so. I guess we'll just do it right now, okay? So, okay, right. the first caller to call in is gonna get, no, no, we're gonna do th that later. We're gonna do his CD right now. The first caller to call in is gonna get Jonathan uh, Bond's uh, CD from all from all directions. Yes, ma'am. He's done 25 projects already, so I know you're gonna enjoy all of them, but we're gonna give mm -hmm. this one away right now to the first caller. Yes. Amen. Jonathan. Um, what were you that say? I just said from the songs that we've already heard tonight, mm -hmm. I mean, has just been amazing, and I know that whoever gets that CD is just mm -hmm. going to be blessed. <laughs> and um, well, so, he's getting ready to sing a song I've known for years. I was singing it with you. I never shall forget the day. Oh yes, yes. So that's a good uh, one. We're going to release Jonathan right now to sing. I never shall forget the day. <laughs> When I owed in sin, I had no hope, no, no peace within. Down on my knees in agony, I prayed to Jesus and he gladly set me free. I never shall forget the day. His dear feet Just humbly bow Confess to Him Your every sin He'll save and cleanse you Give you peace and joy with that I never shall forget the day
I never shall forget the mm. day. I love that song. Yes. We've been, uh, if you're just joining us here tonight, we've been talking with Jonathan Bond, and um, he's been in ministry for many, many, many years, written more than, well, he's got 25 projects on CD. And we just gave this away to the first caller, and we are, we are going to give something else away, so don't go anywhere. But Jonathan's going to join us again right now. And uh, thank you, Jonathan, for being with us tonight. Thank you. You made it fun, exciting, and I just feel like this is going to be a great night when before we get through. But I was just wondering, how many miles do you even travel in a month or a year? Uh, well, I, I figured up my monthly. Uh, I, I, generally, I generally travel about 6,000 miles a month. So um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say a year. <laughs> I was going to halfway believe that. <laughs> a month? I do about 6,000 miles a month. My yes, ma'am. Jonathan. Uh, right. I, I usually have to uh, trade cars every two years just <laughs> just because. Uh, the they, yes. So. Boy, God yeah. has blessed you. I never, ever sell a car to a friend because I have way too many miles, and I know it's close to breaking <laughs> That's down. That's funny now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is going to be something we want to hear about. My sister, Edith Tripp, was instrumental now in helping you oh, get yes. through some hard times, wasn't she, and make she, some decisions. She was. Uh, and we all loved Edith. I don't know of anybody that didn't mm -hmm. love Edith, precious lady. Yeah. So we want you to just take your time and share with us some things about Edith. Well, uh, um, the, the song that I'm going to do shortly is Address Change. The first time I ever sang this song was 30 years ago on Laverne and Edith's TV show. Mm -hmm. And I was so nervous, and but she was mm -hmm. such an encourager, you know, and she just, uh, but, but the thing I would love to share with you is uh, 13 years ago, I went through uh, a divorce pretty hard and uh, was in ministry. I would share, uh, sing every night and I would share Jesus and uh, inside I was just struggling. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I trusted him, but I, I was, struggling yeah. and right. one day I was in Atlanta leaving uh, Emory Hospital and my phone rang and it was Edith Tripp and uh, I said hey Edith and she said where are you and I said I'm uh, in Atlanta leaving the hospital she said are you where you can pull over and I said I will be in just a second what's what's going on she said I want you to stop and read the scripture uh, she gave me the scripture and she said it's about Lot and his wife and I said, oh, I, I know that scripture. You know, I, I, what I was saying is, I don't have to pull over. I already know that scripture. I said, I, I, said, I know that scripture real well. And she mm -hmm. said, Jonathan Bond, mm -hmm. I am asking you as a sister in Christ, will you pull over and read this <laughs> scripture? <laughs> and I said, said yes, ma'am. And she said, and then call me back. Well, I pulled over and I began to read the scripture. And... Um, I've always thought of that scripture from Lot's wife, her perspective, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but this time I seen it from Lot's perspective and I, I could visually see him wanting, I mean, everything he loved was behind him now. Mm -hmm. right. And I, I could visually see him wanting to turn and reach out to the ones that he loved, but he knew that he had to stay focused on God or he would turn to a pillar of salt as well. And uh, that was so powerful to me uh, that you, no matter what comes your way, uh, no matter the storm, you stay focused on God and keep going and he'll pull you through it. He always has and mm -hmm. he always will. But she was that reminder for me. He's yeah. an on time God, isn't he? Uh, Just when we need something from him, <laughs> he yes, sends somebody to us yes, to give us that word. Well, that's who and he is. Yes, it? It's, it was great. Thank God that she touched so many lives. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You have yes, a story about a little boy, uh, uh, P.F. Chang, <laughs> right? I do. And I do. <laughs> I can't wait to hear that. Well, uh, I, I am... Uh, I'm a pretty confident person, and I talk to people, and I, I, I'm not intimidated easily, and I, I, I just go, and I, I just love people. And uh, me and several friends were at P.F. Chang's in Nashville, and I think there were like 10 of us or so. And so the hostess was taking us to the very back where the big table was. And on the way back, there was a little boy in a wheelchair. And because of what God has done for me, I just sort of gravitated to him. Um, and so I, as we're walking by him, I stopped and knelt down with him and I gave him a 
card that had my info on it. And I said, my name's Jonathan Bond. What's your, what's your name? And he told me. And uh, I said, what do you plan on being when you grow up? And he said, I, I noticed the parents looking at me, like wondering what's this about. And uh, I said, what do you plan on being when you grow up? And he said, sir, I don't know. I'm, I'm 12 years old and in a wheelchair. I don't know what Aww. I can do. Aww. And I said, well, I said, I'll tell you this. Teddy Roosevelt was in a wheelchair and he became president of the United States. Yeah. I said, I was in a major car wreck and uh, I was paralyzed from uh, just above my waist down and uh, God healed me. I said, and I travel across the world singing gospel music. So I will tell you that God will either use you in that wheelchair or he will heal you and use you out of the wheelchair. And uh, I just wanted to give him hope, encouragement. And uh, it was just maybe two weeks later, I got a phone call from the dad and he said, uh, he reminded me who he was. He said, I want you to know that my son came to our room last night and he said, mom and dad, I know what I want to be when wow. I grow up. I want to be a gospel singer. Aww. And uh, you know, I, what I love about that whole thing is he had no hope, uh, but through Jesus, he found hope mm -hmm. in that. And you know, I, I love, I love every trait about Jesus. I'm so thankful I can walk. I'm so thankful I can see. I'm thankful for all the healing that he's done. But yes. his healing is not what changed me. Okay. What changed me was when he offered me hope when mm -hmm. I seen right. none. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite trait oh, of Jesus. Wow. And that's the trait I want to yes. pick Amen. up from him. Amen. That's a beautiful story. And you got so many stories in mm -hmm. these yes, different babe. books that you're offering to, uh, for people to read. So right. go on Amazon or go uh, to your website, yes, is it? Yes, JonathanBond.com. Yes, and get these books because these stories will bless you. Amen. Yes, Amen. Now, I think you have a great story about an elderly lady. <laughs> oh, my. I do. Wow. I do. Uh, I was in Branson, Missouri about six months ago. And uh, <laughs> as I was leaving, leaving the uh, hotel, I walked toward the car and there was an older lady looked to be about 85 and uh, she was yelling it was pretty intense she was mm -hmm. yelling at this younger couple they were my age so I say young mm -hmm. so uh, <laughs> she uh, she was yelling at them and as I was walking by I was reminded of the scripture the steps of the righteous are ordered yeah. of the Lord yeah. and uh, I said God if you have me here for purpose I am available I walked up to the car beside where this uh, the this lady and the other two were were arguing, and uh, I walked up to the car beside them and I said, "I don't know about tomorrow." <laughs> the older lady turned around and she said, "I just live from day to day." We sang that whole verse and chorus. And we got through, I said, you want to do the chorus again? And she said, oh, many things <laughs> about tomorrow. And when we finished, I said, thank you for that singing that great. with me. She said, oh, honey, that's one of my favorites. She turned around, she got in the car and shut her door. The guy and girl that were with her, they were both crying. And he came over and he hugged me. He said, uh, he said thank you. He said, that's my mother. Mm -hmm. He said, she has Alzheimer's. And there are days that she doesn't remember us. And today Aww. she thought she was being killed kidnapped Aww. and I, I told him and I said well I want you to know you will face wow. this again wow. you will see this exact same thing again but yeah. now you can choose you can get lost in the storm yes or you can refocus on God and he he made a way for your escape so just reach out stay focused on him and I I love that of all the songs I've written, maybe 300 or so, of, and I know every song in the hymn because of my parents' abuse growing up, you know, uh, <laughs> making me go to church and know, learning every song. <laughs> so thankful for that. But uh, of all the songs that I know, the, that song came to mind, and it was one of her favorites, and I, I mm. love how God does that. Wow. Well, listen, let's let you talk about that book. Let's see who endorsed this one. Yeah. Well, um, I didn't have the patience to wait on an endorsement on this one. Uh, I was so excited about it, but just, uh, it, it's truly just testimony after testimony of, of people that, that I've met. And, and in this book, uh, 
I, there are there are testimonies that are very vulnerable for me uh, when I've gone through battles and stuff, and and uh, I. I'm just completely honest with you. Sometimes I've seen darkness that I, I couldn't see the light and I'd have to remind myself mm -hmm. over and over and over, God's still there. He's an ever present help right when we need him. I would quote scriptures to myself and, uh, and, and then I would see God come to pass like he always has. And it reminds me of a revelation when he said they were made overcomers, not just by the blood of the lamb, but mm -hmm. also the by the words of their testimony. testimony. And you know, I believe the reason that is, when I share testimonies with you, my faith gets stronger. Yeah. Uh, and when I, uh, when my dad, uh, I guess it was 10 years ago, found out he had cancer, mm -hmm. um, when the doctor said, he said, Mr. Bond, you have cancer, talking to my dad, I said, thank you, Jesus. And the doctor said, no, you, you misunderstood me. He, he does have cancer. I said, sir, this is nothing compared to the other things God has brought us through. He'll bring dad through <laughs> this a hundred percent. And dad has been cancer free now for 10 years. Wow. So, uh, and you know, you can stand on God's word. It doesn't matter what, what it looks like or what others say, you can stand on God's word yes. and he's always available. Amen. Amen. And you know, I think about um, our steps are ordered. Yes, ma'am. And it brings me to tell you about when I was downtown and I, I was in a certain dress shop and uh, I had been in such terrible shape with my hip for months. I had just packed up and moved back here. You know what packing up and moving away does to <laughs> right. you. Anyway, it wasn't getting better. and. I, but I went, my husband even said, are you going to be able to walk up the steps at different places? I said, I don't know. But anyway, I went downtown, went in a dress shop, and I heard, I knew the guy was a Christian for some reason. And I said, uh, he's going to pray for me. That's why my steps were ordered to go in there. That's beautiful. He prayed for me. I left there and I had another pain since. Praise the Lord. And his first words that mm -hmm. the Father may be glorified. <laughs> I speak healing. Amen. He's glorified through it. You know, yes, he wants to heal us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Absolutely. That's <laughs> yes, beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Um, now this, have we talked about this one? This, this is just a, uh, a hymns project. Uh, it's just a, a, a lot of old hymns like the, the one that I just sang, uh, Never Shall Forget the Day. But my parents are singing with me on this oh, one. Oh. And uh, I, I love it. I uh, love getting to sing with them. And then my, my grandfather used to sing at the Grand Ole Opry back when it was called the Opry, you know, way back. Yeah. And uh, every Saturday night he would have a request to sing one specific song. And so I put that song on the album, I Don't oh. Know About Tomorrow. Yeah. I put that on the album as well. So yeah. you grew up uh, in a Christian home. Yes, ma'am. Right? Oh, I was and so blessed. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I was in trouble all the time. Right. Uh, well, we all were. We got saved every Sunday the, night we went to church. And I couldn't even tell you how many times I got baptized and my parents were hoping for the best. Uh, and Mary then was going to write day, a book. I said, if I ever wrote a book, it would say, just give me to Sunday night. Because <laughs> we was funny. in that altar begging for forgiveness. There was right. five of us girls. My grandmother took us all in when we were younger. And uh, mm -hmm. we needed something to happen on Sunday well, night. Well, everything you know? was a sin. Oh, <laughs> you absolutely. couldn't do anything that wasn't a sin. Uh, but I'm so <laughs> thankful to have been raised that strict. Uh, I, I wasn't thankful at the time. I thought it was completely crazy. Mm -hmm. But my parents instilled in me the love yeah. of God right, uh, and, right. and, and the beauty of, of just following Him. Mm -hmm. you, you know, so I love it. I'm thankful. I know you are thankful for your heritage. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it is so important to have a, a good heritage. Yes, ma'am. Now we're going to give away this book right here now, mm -hmm. and we're just going to say it's to the first caller. So call us, and this will be your book if you're the first caller tonight. Amen. 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 Well, Amen. you said you were wanting to sing the song. Let's see, what was it? Uh, address change in honor of Edith, or what? Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, but because I sang the first time I sang it was on their show, uh, but but also, uh, you know, she made such a difference in my life, and uh, I I just have always appreciated her, mm -hmm. and uh, this this song is good for her. Yeah. And she has made an address change. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Amen. That's, good. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's Jonathan Bond to sing cha uh, address change. This 
world for quite a long time always struggling for a place to call my own yet I've never been quite satisfied with what I've seen down here so now I'm moving to my Another beautiful song from Jonathan Bond, and uh, that was in a little love and memory of my sister yes, Edith. Ma Edith yes, ma'am. Edith Tripp. And love Miss Edith. As many of you may know, uh, our sister, we, our older sister Edith Tripp, passed away February the seventeenth, mm -hmm. and uh, we were going to go up there and visit her about a week a week before, but we decided to let her rest, and uh, and she was getting better, and uh, then she passed within no time when she got better right in the arms of her Laverne trip and how what a better way to go she breathed about three times and was gone on his chest so anyway uh, she made us a lot of memories didn't she Darvis yeah. us. we were up there this past weekend and got to share some more about her and we laughed we cried but um, we're so glad she's where she is, and she's. I said she's at peace. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, oh. and you said something to me too. She went home, Mary. I right. said, Dang, she did, didn't she? She went home. Right. Well, we we weren't created to stay here. We're, we've made it home, mm -hmm. but this is not home. We're just passing through here. And, and I think uh, you made you you changed something within me that day. And I know it seems like it was nothing, but when you said, "Well, she just went home," 
And yeah. we're going to all go home. Like you said, I'm sorry I didn't we'll mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, ma'am, that's right. I, that's one home I can't wait to see uh, her no. at. Yeah. She doesn't have any worries today, does she? Uh, no. I, I don't know if she still has the cooking show going on, uh, <laughs> but I know she's excited where she is. <laughs> yeah, I did that with her for a good yes, while ma myself. We had such a good time doing yeah. that. We got so many memories. We just, uh, <laughs> we're going to do a little service for her later in the fall or something like oh, that. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. But tell us another one of your experiences. We oh. love them. Well, uh, my best friend, he lives in Cincinnati, Ohio, <laughs> and he called me one day, and I was scheduled to sing in Cincinnati on a Friday night. He called me like on Wednesday, said, when are you coming to Cincinnati? I said, I'm going to leave early Friday morning. He said, Jonathan, I got a really big problem I need to talk to somebody about. Can you come up day before? And I said, absolutely. So I left Thursday morning, and I got up there. This was urgent. And so... Uh, I met him and I said, what, what's going on, Matt? He said, nothing. I just knew you wouldn't come if I didn't make it sound like it's some big emergency. <laughs> and I said, what in the world? He said, I want to take you and do something. Uh, and because I knew you wouldn't do it if I didn't, you know, so we went and I said, where are we going? He said, you'll see. And he drove, drove. We went to Hamilton, Ohio's airport. And because I've watched a little TV, I said, are we going to like Paris for, uh, for lunch or something you know and he <laughs> said you'll see we walked in and uh the lady said are you the guys here that that are here for the parachute jump or the yeah and i and i said oh no ma'am that's not us he said yes ma'am it is i said matt i am not <laughs> jumping out of a plane he said i've already paid for it and so uh, well we, we got up in the plane and we're getting ready to jump out and the winds were pretty hard so it took us a little bit of time and uh we finally jumped, and on the way down, the guy said, he, he, uh, and everything was good. We coasted. He pulled the parachute thing, and he said, I was reading over your paperwork, and it, uh, I seen where you sing gospel music. And I said, yes, sir. He said, why don't you sing me a song? We got plenty of time. Well, the only song I could think of, I didn't even know. I knew two lines of it, but I sang it, and it was, I know the master of the wind. I, I know the maker of the rain. But that's all I knew. Uh, but his countenance changed. And uh, he said, you know what? I'll never forget this day. And I said, yeah, I'm with you. I won't either. Uh, well, uh, we landed. I gave him a card and everything, invited him to the concert. He called me that night. He said, I just wanted you to know that um, my mother was my connection to God. And every time I had a problem, I'd go to her and she'd pray with me. He said, she mm -hmm. died about three months ago. Wow. And he said, I, I feel like God doesn't know where I am and I've been struggling. Mm -hmm. He said, today, that song that you sang was my mother's favorite song. Mm -hmm. He said, I felt like it was God saying to me, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. I know where you are. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how amazing that God can use anything Anytime, um, and my, my best friend said, you know what, you are a fool, you know, because I just sing, I just do whatever. And I said, but what better person to be a fool for than <laughs> fool for the Lord? Amen. You know? Amen. Well, you've shared a lot of stories with us yes, tonight. And uh, just quickly, how did you get started in ministry? Uh, from, <laughs> from the car wreck, the doctors wouldn't let me work. Uh, and uh, so in that two year period that they were keeping me under surveillance and all that, uh, testing uh -huh. me and all that, uh, I was invited to, I sang at my mother's church and shared my testimony. Some visitors were there. They invited me to their church and some visitors were there. And, uh, I, I was traveling six months before I realized I was in ministry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really the truth. Yeah. Uh, hey, that's man. how it happened. Well, you got a great calling on your yeah, life man. and we're so going to go to a song at this time, aren't we, Mary? Yeah, well, it's actually a video. Oh, is, is it? I video? created okay. you. Oh. Okay. Did you write this? Yes, ma'am. Well, Jonathan's written another hit, see? So enjoy. Oh. I created you. Amen. I created you. I know you by name. There's no one like you, no, there's no one quite the same. From the start of time, I've called you for great things. 
Even though you've fallen, my purpose for you, it still remains. You don't have to stay there. You have been set free. cries even when nothing was said let go of the guilt let go and lift up your head I gave you life and I still have a plan there's no time then now to reach up and take my hand you don't have to stay there you have been set free those chains they were all broke down the moment created you I know you by name well, what a beautiful That's song awesome. and what an honor to have Jonathan Bond on our program tonight. Yes, Hasn't yes. it been interesting? Yes. <laughs> it's, I, I said he is a storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good way, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, for, for being with us. And Thank we're just going to let you take the last few minutes just to minister and uh, to pray with our viewers and all. And uh, you just take your liberty, okay? Thank you. And thanks for letting me be oh, here with yes. you. Yes. Uh, to every one of you that, that are watching, uh, I know a lot of times we try to smile and act like everything's great and we've never mm -hmm. messed up. And, uh, but but y'all, we, we don't have to hide where we've been. Uh, I am so thankful for where God has brought me from. And uh, you, I, on the video, I, I work with a lot of homeless people and uh, I, I just encourage them that, mm -hmm. yeah, it's real, you have made bad decisions. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. You've got yourself into a, a situation, but God is still able. He is yes, still he able. Is. And for you and your situation, maybe it's physical or financial, emotional, maybe it's a spiritual situation, or, or maybe you've never, you've heard a lot about the Lord, but you've never gotten to know Him. I want to tell you today is the day. There's yeah. no better day. There's nobody that will love you more mm -hmm. than He loves you. And I'm thankful He loved me at my worst as much as He loved me on the mountaintop. And I'm right. so thankful for that. But I just want to encourage you to look to Him no matter your circumstance it's you can you can choose to listen to the doctors if you want but you don't have to he has the final saying you can mm -hmm. listen to what the banker says but you don't have to mm -hmm. he still has the final say all we have to do is go to him and trust him no matter our situation so i'd love to pray with you right now if you would god thank you for your grace your love your mercy god thank you for allowing us to be part of you thank you for choosing us when others walked away god we love you and i ask you to help us keep our focus on you every single day and for every one of you that are that are watching i know that god is there with you we mm -hmm. just have to acknowledge him Amen. It's that simple. Uh, thank you, thank you for letting thank us you, be Jesus. here with you. And uh, if, if you have a need, call the number here. Um, 
and and call there's prayer warriors in the back they'll pray with you we'll pray with you uh also uh you can go you can go go to my website jonathanbond.com i'd love to hear your story i'd love to know where god's brought you from and revelation said they were made overcomers by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony uh if you're struggling in a situation start testifying Watch what he does. Tell us where uh, you're going to be Sunday morning. I, I'm going to be at Iva Church of God Sunday morning. And uh, it, it starts at 1030. And I would love to see you there. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's a beautiful little, it's a, a little church, but we go to church there. And uh, I'm so thankful. I, I've been there probably three or four times over the past 30 years. Uh, but I love going there and would love to have you come as well. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being Thank with you, us Jesus. tonight again, Jonathan. Thank you very yeah. much. And you travel how many how many miles a year? Did you uh, would, did we get that? Well, uh, a year I've, I'd say that it's um, about sixty five thousand. Just to spread the gospel. Yes, ma'am, sixty five seventy thousand, uh, and and love it. And I, I, I bet it. you've seen good many salvations through all that, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean, Laverne too. can tell you about over a million that they have. Uh, amazing. I mean, you know. So yeah. I know it's been a blessing for every church to be able to hear music, be able to hear comedy, because I've heard some comedy too, yeah. <laughs> be able to hear testimonies. So anyway, thank you again. For being He's yes. amazing. Thank you for your show. Thank I you. love yes. watching it. Thank you for letting me be here. Well, Amen. we miss Tony tonight once again. Yes. She couldn't be here, but love you, Tony. And mm -hmm. you'll yes. sit in this seat next time with me. Yes. And uh, thank you for letting me sit in, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw Tony a kiss. Mm, thank you. <laughs>